Hello everyone, it's Steamboy27. Let's take on the final boss of this game. We'll be using, I believe, let's see. Lubert's Drill, the Electro Saw Blade, and the, let's see. And just in case things go bad, we'll need, I suppose, the... Actually, no, that's a bad idea. I could use the Demonic Bone Axe, something with high durability. And I have Sugar equipped with Weapon Shield, Astral Guard, Enchant Aqua, and Healing Spell. Actually, uh, a better idea would be... Probably equip Med Kits. No matter who you are, especially if you're Rosho, if you're using Rosho, equip Med Kits. Because this is going to be the fight of our life. Remember this? He's blue now! Meet Inferno Kirin! First things first, equip a weapon shield. I know, I know, you're probably saying, why now? Why not when your thing is like, not why not when your durability is lower? Whoa, 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 whoa. He's biting stuff. He has some new moves. None of them are too, uh, impressive. In fact, one makes him straight easy. This one. If he moves back, like, literally just back, it's a sign that he's going to be using that move. And you can simply jump it. Now the reason you want to use Weapon Shield is, is, is because this boss has lots of health. And he will easily outlast your weapon's durability. The secret to this fight is definitely Weapon Shield. You need Weapon Shield in order to win this fight. Even more important to this fight is not getting hit. Equip Weapon Shield when you're not able to target the enemy. That'll save you time. Because it's also a, ma it's a matter of time, dodging, and dealing hits in the fastest way possible. The reason I use med kits is because they heal all of your HP, and when you die. That is not what I wanted. Okay, I've wasted another spell charge, but let's hope that I don't do that again. Alright, I'm thinking it's about time I retire this weapon. For another one. The reason I have Enchant Aqua is because it may be a good idea to boost some damage, but in this case, since I've already wasted the spell charge, not the best idea. You want to do the upward drill strike simply because it's easier to cancel out of. Of course, the cancelled drill attack, the cancelled double, the cancelled double jab for the drill is also a good idea. Jump that. As long as you have weapon shield and you keep a cool head and dodge all the moves, you should be fine. Drills are. Jewels, as always, are especially effective on Inferno Kirin. Now, I may look I may make this boss look a lot easier than he actually is. When you're fighting him, it'll be pretty difficult. Don't underestimate his power. Jump. I'm gonna be using the axe only in emergency cases. I just wanted to see how much damage it did, just to expect. Yeah, not much to say. Uh, this is the same. This is just a mirror fight, as of all the other fights with the fish and heavy metal. This is just another monster boss fight. Although I am disappointed we didn't get to fight the Yasha Spider. All right, we're gonna need another weapon shield. I hope I have enough. If not, I'm gonna have to rely on the demonic bone axe. Overall, swords will do the most damage. DPS-wise, anyway. Because they're fragile, it's the only trade-off. But with Weapon Shield, you don't have to worry about it. 
At least, not for another minute or two. Slowly, slowly, we are whittling him down. Just gotta keep good track of him. He's almost dead. First time I fought this guy, it was difficult. I did not think of the weapon shield, and when I, even when I did, I didn't have the technique or the information, knowledge, to dodge his moves, and because of that, I lost. Okay, this is the last one. I have no more magic. I can't afford to get hit by anything heavy. Whoa, he's biting stuff. Yeah, sometimes he'll bite things. I'm not quite sure what the warning is. It looks just the same as his retreat, his retreat animation, but... Oh well. Ow, ow. A little more. Just a little more. Ow, ow. One more and that should be it. And that's it. Infernal Kieran is dead. The ultimate boss of the game has been defeated. And with that... We leveled up. A lot. At this point, it doesn't really matter. I'd max your attack if I were you. And we get a new technique from him. But that's not all. Behind him are a bunch of treasure chests. The Craft Lord Bracer. The Craft Lord Amulet. The Storm Amulet. And, on the other side, a new technique for a spear, beast fossils, and dragon fossils. All right, now I'm going to meet you upstairs in the uh, in my workshop. Actually, I'll skip the prompt with the. I'm going to skip the prompt with the guy who gives me the stuff, like you know, the techniques, and I'll be just right at the forge. Okay, I'll see you in a second. Okay, I'm back, and I've created every single weapon, with some help, of course. I had to go get uh, what you gonna call it? That dude, you know the. Kuhura, that guy. Alright. So starting from here, the Demon Rage Sword. And it becomes Demon Quencher. Fortified by water. That's probably the best weapon you could use against the... What's it called? The Inferno Kirin. Technique number 33 is the Angelic Blade. And it becomes the Holy Breath Sword, which is blessed with wind. The weapon you get from the Inferno Kirin himself is the Saintly Sword. And that becomes the Prominence Sword. It transforms shape. It looks oddly like the Demon Rage Sword, except, well, with the cooler looking hilt. Don't know what they were going for there, but oh well. Alright, after the Hellfire Bone Axe, we have the Feather Axe. You get this after completing your bestiary. Like, all of it. Like, you, get, you just get it. After you leave the labyrinth, some dude will come up to you and say, Hey, you completed your bestiary. Good for you. Here, you can have this. What's special about this is that it doesn't decrease your agility, and its elemental affinity version, the Wing Gale, actually gives you a little bit more. It also boasts really high durability, it's probably one of the best axes in the game. The next one is the Skull Crusher, which then becomes the Flare Crusher. Now the, good, the thing about these is that their selling point is defense. As you can plainly see, they have 150, 200, as compared to 75, 116, and even the next ones only have 120. That's their selling point. From, I believe it's the lesser demon. I'm not quite sure what his name is. We'll see that later. You get the twin demon axe, which becomes the thunder queen axe. Haven axe to Genma axe. I believe you get that from... I'm not quite sure. Actually, I'll look at that later. Alright, from here on out, we get... The Sniper Lance and the Sniper M12. We get that from a treasure chest, I believe. This is pretty cool. It's one of the only weapons that give you, once again, one of the only spears that give you agility. You get the Giant Fork from the Omen Fish. Pretty self explanatory here. High dur it boasts high durability and high attack, but it lowers your agility by a lot. This is special. You get this from the ex exhibition match. And if you clear it in a fast enough time, you'll get this. It's probably one of the most powerful spears, but it boasts a very heavy penalty and agility. Same thing for Hammer Spike. It gets even higher, actually. This is actually the most powerful spear you can get. The last one you get from the chest after defeating the Infernal Karen is the Lord Spear. 
the most well-balanced one, and this looks crazy. Starting with Knuckles, after the bear- what, what? Did I not make these? Whoopsie. Hold on a second. I have to go make them. And I'll do that right now. I, I didn't think I missed those, but what the hey. After Hydro Catacles, I believe we get these from Heavy Metal. Or the Harricade, I'm not quite sure. We'll see when I look at it. If they're the Hazard Knuckles, then you get them from Heavy Metal. Knuckles for the Brave. I don't know why they're for the Brave. They have a really high defense stat. Probably one of the higher ones you can get. And they become Thunder Knuckles, which are even more defense. Bear Claws, Ghost Slasher. Now this you get for breaking every barrel in the area. Now I'm going to admit to you that I did not break every barrel. I had to go back and search for it, and I got it. Unfortunately, I did not capture it on screen. Now, as you can see, its durability is very low. Defense is low, agility is pretty good, but its attack is the highest in the game. This is probably the secret, this is the secret to beating the exhibition match with this weapon. And I believe you get these, the Tri-Maven Fist from Harricade, and its ultimate version, the Gale Voyager, doesn't have much to boast about it. Like, the Gale Slasher is actually better, but whatever. As for drills, after that we get the Fang Drill from, I believe, the Iron Giant? No, that wasn't it. Well, I'll figure that out later. You can see it in the Beast Ray. Raging Fangs. The Rainbow Drill has no agility uh, decrease. And the Rajin Drill, or Raijin, gives you a little bit more. This next one, Twin Drill, gives you more attack than you would expect, because, well, there's two drills. And the last one, the Superconductor, has the highest durability in the game, but its counterpart, the Plasma Horns, has half the durability it does, which is very curious, but whatever. Now, I'll show you what you get from each enemy. Now, if I can just find them in... Okay, so Harricade gives you the Bear Claws. Black Pincher gives you the Great Simtar. The Interceptor gives you the Rainbow Drill. Not that. Dark Dragon gives you the Haven Axe, the best axe in the game. Gunner Giant gives you the Twin Drill. Um... Hold on. Yeah, I, this is the other guy I missed. His name is Fogro. Can't believe I missed that guy, but oh well. He's in the same area that you find these, uh, Winter Dogs and Palm Dogs. Uh, okay, the Charger gives you the Superconductor. The Devil Head gives you the tri Haven Fists. The Arc Demon gives you the Twin Demon Axe, as would be expected. And, as I've told you, you get the Giant Fork from the Omen Fish, the Hazard Knuckles from Heavy Metal, and you get the Prominent Sword from the Infernal Kirin. And that's going to be that. With 100% of the game complete, I bid you all farewell. This is Steamboy27, wishing you a very good tomorrow as this game is over. Although, I will probably give you one more bonus episode. One in that involves... a record time, if you would. Wow, that looks really cool. Man, this is awesome! Oh, also, I got some of these things. Um, you can look at them yourselves later, but... Some of them... Let's see, like the uh, Craft Lord Amulet. The best amulet in the game. Gives you a lot of agility, a lot of attack. Probably the best accessory you can ever get. But, whatever. Alright, everyone. I bid you adieu. This is Steamboy27. I'm gonna take a nap. Bidding you a brighter tomorrow. Have a good day, everyone. Because this game is over. Woo, we're done. Have a good day, everyone.